Okay, this is another wave question from Winter 22 pay, paper 2-3 and it is asking us, basically giving us a drawing of sound wave. So a progressive longitudinal wave travels through a medium from left to right. Okay, so this is a particle of the sound wave and figure 4.1 shows the position of some of the particles at the time t naught and a graph showing the particle displacement at the same time t naught. Okay, so I guess a way to think about it is this is zero displacement. This particle here, this position is zero displacement. Okay, and this is another point of zero displacement. This is another point of zero displacement. This is another point of zero displacement. And also here, they mark out for you already. Okay. Particle displacement to the right of their equilibrium position are shown as positive. So to the right is positive, which means everything here is to the right. And everything down here is to the left. So all the particles here has moved right. So this one is has moved to the right, moved to the right, moved to the right. And all the particles in the negative direction has moved to the left. Move left, move left, move left. Okay? From the equilibrium position. You could be asking teacher where is the equilibrium position? I'm going to assume that or rather it's quite good to assume or quite valid to assume that this one, two, three particles will be evenly spaced across the the space here. La. So this was the initial position of the particles. Another one B tree space. Two Yes, so particle number one would have moved here. Particle number two, here, particle number two would have moved here. Particle number three would have moved here. You may be wondering, teacher, how you know where the initial position is. I don't, I just very badly <laughs> took the entire length and equally divide the position of the particles because they should be evenly spaced. Okay, but this is just to show you all the particles moving to the right. Just like this green color section, all the particles is moving to the left. All right, on figure 4.1, draw the circles around two particles which are exactly one wavelength apart. So it's pretty easy. Uh. You want one wavelength, right? So it can be anywhere, it can be here to here because this is 360 degree okay or it can be x to this point because here to here is also 360 degree it can also be this point and this point because here to here is another 360 degree. So there are several answers. It's kind of up to you. The, the reason why you can't use here to here is because there's no particle here. There's no particle here. Okay. All right. Let me delete this. Anyone la, can be the orange circles, can be the purple circles. All right, next, sketch a line on the graph to represent the displacement of the particles for T naught plus quarter cycle. This is not a stationary wave. This is a progressive wave. Progressive wave means the wave will move, okay? And uh, it is moving from left to right. Ah. So let's say I draw the wave for you. I'm going to trace the wave. Since I already know it's going to move from left to right, correct? So I'll try my best to trace it. 
something like this okay so if this wave move all the way here it would have traveled one lambda and one lambda is equivalent to one period okay so if I travel let's say I take this point here wait now let me make it tick again okay let's say I take this point here if this point move to here let's say this point A move here to here this point would be T the time would be T okay or if you want to follow their convention T naught plus T but they want T over 4 ma. so if the wave moves this wave when it moves from the time taken for it to move from here to here is T where is T over 4 half of it will be T over 2 another half of half would be T over 4 okay or the equivalent phase angle from here to here would be 90 degree la. okay it's just equivalent to T over 4 okay so how do I make sure I get marks well this one is three marks right so the first mark is when you make sure that your wave have the same amplitude I cheated a bit by tracing on the original wave because I can but during exam you cannot trace lah. so you have to make sure that the wave has the same amplitude as the original wave the second mark is to maintain the same wavelength as the original wave okay and then you realize that actually this part I need to continue right uh, correct law so the wave doesn't just travel here it will obviously have this one that comes up this way in other words I move by 90 degree again as usual you got to make sure that the amplitude stay the same uh. okay so that will be the last mark the curve has a negative displacement at t equal to zero or rather at at zero the initial negative displacement so this one is one mark amplitude the same is one mark wavelength the same is another mark okay in other words right I shift the graph is a translation from left to right by 90 degree that is what is going on okay all right part three state the motion of the particle Z at T over 4 okay where is Z okay Z is here you notice that Z has positive displacement in my new wave shape I mean if you want to you can continue uh, but I'm feeling a bit meh okay so at the new wave shape the blue color one point Z has a positive displacement and because the displacement is positive ah uh, left or right right low right is positive to the right okay part B the frequency of wave in A is 16 kilohertz and the distance between X and Y is 0 0.19 meter okay where is X and Y X is here Y is here here to here is 0 0.19 meter okay calculate the speed of the wave so as usual speed of wave will use the equation VF lambda in fact I can almost guarantee you'll be using this equation now just to know in what context only we have frequency 16 kilo 10 to the power of 3 Hertz what about wavelength lambda so if I look at this shape right X to Y is 0 0.19 this is not lambda you know ladies and gentlemen if I look at X to Y it's actually 
half a lambda here to here lambda over 2 so lambda over 2 is 0 0.19 be careful oh lambda over 2 is 0 0.19 which means lambda will be 0 0.19 times 2 I'm just going to put this here okay and finally I'll get my answer 6100 meter per second okay usually the values are always given in 2SF every year new students get confused about SF so you see the data they give to SF. So your final answer, follow law to SF. Follow their lead. Let Cambridge lead you. Okay, this is an easy three mark. If you find lambda correctly, this is one mark. Either you show outside or you show inside the working. Use V la F lambda, you get the other mark. And then the final answer would be the third mark. Nice and easy. All right. Okay, let's look at C. The longitudinal sound wave is traveling through a solid and the initial intensity of the wave is I0. The frequency of the wave remains constant and the amplitude falls to half of its original value. So from A, we become A over 2. A0. Uh. Determine in terms of I0, what is the final intensity of the wave? So, I want to know I not become what? That's the question. Okay? So, as the sound wave is traveling in the solid, the sound wave will attenuate. You will learn about attenuation in A2, how to calculate that. But this one is fairly okay, uh, logic. Uh. When the sound wave travel, if you sit further away from me, I am softer because the amplitude will drop. So the amplitude dropped to half. What is the intensity? So always remember intensity is proportional to amplitude square. Meaning I can take I0 over, maybe this is I2. Okay. And then the initial amplitude is A0. The final amplitude is A0 over 2. Whole thing square. Okay. So we are looking for I2. Okay, yeah. So I ratio the amplitude is same as re taking ratio of the amplitude is the same as taking ratio of the intensity. So from here I will have I naught over I two. A naught and A naught cancels out. So one over one over two, which is two. So I two will now be equal to or rather okay, la, I don't jump step. I0 is equal to 4 I2. I2 will be 1 over 4 I0. And for the third time of the day, do we leave our answers in fraction? No, no. 0 0.25. 2 SF. All right. So if you write uh, intensity is proportional to amplitude squared, this is C1. You use the ratio correctly, leading to the final answer is A1. Okay, so practice. This one is also very popular. All right, part D. The sound wave in C now meets another sound wave traveling in the opposite direction. Now I see like that all stationary wave. Okay, state a condition necessary for these two waves to form stationary wave. So a lot of things need to be the same. Lah. They should have, both waves should have same amplitude. frequency, wavelength, you state one is good enough lah. Okay. Part two. State two ways in which a stationary wave differs from progressive wave. Well, the first one is one move and one doesn't, right? So this kind of list format question, by the way, in past year, you should only write two. If you write more than two, they will ignore everything else. Okay? So I'm going to try to write my points. I will say the stationary wave doesn't transfer energy.
doesn't propagate energy whereas the comma progressive wave transfers energy stationary wave right the energy is stuck between stuck inside stuck inside the wave okay so progressive wave transfers energy okay the second one besides energy transfer is that you could say that the different points on a stationary wave have different amplitudes whereas all points on a progressive wave have same amplitude there is a list of the differences when we compare stationary wave and standing wave so you can use that you can refer to that but I'm not if I understand the nature of stationary versus progressive wave I don't really need to memorize because let me see if I have the simulation here okay because right let's say I look at these which are the progressive wave now nah, this red wave is progressive so every single particle will eventually so imagine this red color line has many many pixel of particles so every single of these particles will have the same amplitude it's just different time okay but if I look at standing wave different particle different thought will have different amplitude and the energy is like trapped here nowhere to go whereas if you look at this the energy is traveling okay all right, that's it for this question. I like this. This one is a very thorough question. They ask many parts of wave and superposition in a nice 13-minute situation.